important because this is the debate. What is gene edited food? Well, thank you, I said. A real pleasure to be here. But the, the key difference is that genetically modified food, which has been, you know, some, some, somewhat controversial since it was introduced about 20 or 30 years ago, in that you remove genes from one species and take them across species boundaries to, to another in a way that could never occur uh, in the natural environment. And that's what makes that controversial. And that's why we'll be keeping in place a very rigorous assessment process for that uh, type of genetic modification. But gene editing is very different. It simply means taking a trait that might be in, say, one species of wheat and transferring it into a different species of wheat. And that's the sort of thing that we've done through plant breeding down the centuries. Uh, and indeed, we've used um, ways to sort of cause gene mutations since the Second World War. And there are processes like F1 hybrid approaches to crop breeding that actually just refine the precision with which we can move traits or keep traits within a particular crop. And that's all gene editing is. It's an extension of that traditional um, plant breeding, but doing it using modern technology in a very, very precise way. So we can get the benefits of reduced pesticide use, better drought resistance, um, lower needs for chemical fertilizers to be applied uh, by using this technology. And that's why it's going to be so important for the future. And that's why I'm, you know, prepared to go along with this. I do see the difference. And I think, you know, it's good that you've come on the programme today to start explaining this. But what I would also like to see, and this is probably the bit that's going to be a bit controversial, and to be honest, you and me could fall out over this. <laughs> And that's why it's about the labelling, because I believe there should always be labelling so you know what's going on. So I can follow the gene editing and I see the difference between sort of genetic modification. But what about the labelling so people know what they're eating? Because all of the things you're talking about are good things that you can change with this editing. Well, the important thing to realise is, although in the European Union, very few crops are cultivated that are genetically modified or gene edited, um, it's around about a third of all animal feeds sold right across Europe, including here in the UK, are actually from, you know, genetically modified crops, let alone gene edited crops. And that, um, you know, meat is not labelled uh, as such. And that's because there's, you know, when it comes to labelling, the, the crucial thing is um, the question whether the product is safe. And so while we're not going to have labelling for um, uh, crops produced in this way, for the simple practical reason that you might have uh, in a loaf of bread grain that comes from several different farms. Some of it might be different varieties. Some of it could be um, as a result of um, uh, you know, genetic editing. Some of it you know, might be um, through other breeding techniques. And so to label that loaf of bread would be, would be a very difficult thing to do. But we are going to ensure that all of these uh, seeds, before they get a marketing authorization to be grown, also go through um, an assessment by the Food Standards Agency for Health. And we don't envisage there being any problems because, as I said, these are uh, these could be a natural breeding technique. But there's a there's that extra safeguard, if you like, which is a health assessment before anything could reach the market at all. Okay. Well